Hey, beautiful people, it's your boy, Mr. Clean here. Welcome to episode 51 of Mr. Clean's Adventure Travel Podcast. And today I want to talk to you about understanding the pros and cons of your flight arrival and departure times. So from my experience of traveling the last year or so, it came to my attention that it's very, very important to understand how the flight departure or arrival time impacts your overall travel experience to your destination. So for example, I booked a red-eye flight from LA to Ohio. The flight was at 11 or 12 o'clock a.m. at night. So when I got to the airport at 9, 30, 10 o'clock, the um, lounges were about to close. The food um, spots were mostly closed. And so for example, I had I paid about 25 bucks for a ham sandwich and some chips, right? So getting to the airport late means a lot of food and activities and things you may want to use or pay for could be closed. Furthermore, if you do a layover, if you're doing a layover at 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night, there may not be anything open as well at those airports. So that's something to think about. Um, when it comes to departing early in the morning, you have to think about that if you have a 5 a.m. flight, these check-in people may not get there till 4.30 a.m., right? Whether that's in the U.S. or abroad. So think about that. Um, also, you make sure, make sure you want to think about, um, you know, if your layover, how long your layover is, where is it at? So if it's a two-hour layover, that should be enough time domestically and internationally, but less than two hours, especially for international layovers, that could be risking it because you may have to go through some kind of passport control that could impact your experience and make you feel like you're rushed running through the airport. Last but not least, think about your arrival time when it comes to your hotel check-in. So most hotels, they said you have to check in at two, three, four o'clock, mostly three or four o'clock. So if you want to be able to land, go straight to the hotel, check in without some crazy fee or having to store your luggage and waiting, think about getting a flight that you land at one, two o'clock. And then by the time you actually get to the air airport or get to your hotel from the airport, you'll be able to check right in without paying any extra charges or fees and be good to go. Um, and that also goes for people that use Airbnb, right? So if you land at a, a city or state or country using Airbnb and you get there at 3 a.m., then you might have to wait to 8, 9, 10, 11, 2, 3 p.m. whenever that Airbnb opens versus at a hotel, there's 24-hour concierge and service where you may have to pay an extra fee or they could let you in early to your hotel. So that's it for episode 51 of Mr. Clean's Adventure Travel Podcast. I hope you got some idea of some of the pros and cons of choosing um, uh, your flight itinerary and schedule, including the layover. Please continue to follow me at IG at IM underscore Mr. Clean, as well as my YouTube channel, Mr. Clean's Adventure Travel Podcast. Have a good one. Peace.